Hey, what's uh, B Operation iDroid here, and in this video, what the heck? Is it possible to get your save states from GBA for iOS to GBA for iOS 2.0 when it comes out? Well, actually, the answer to that will GBA for iOS update and save our data to GBA for iOS 2.0. Well, I was about to answer that. Will my GBA for I save data update transfer? Okay, looks like I know what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So, a lot of you all have been answering three of the same questions. Will I be able to transfer my saves to GBA for iOS 2.0? Will I be able to transfer my games to GBA for iOS 2.0? And finally, how will I update my GBA for iOS to 2.0? So, I'll start by answering the last question. GBA for iOS 2.0 is an update to the original GBA for iOS, but it will be its own separate application. Unlike updating apps in the App Store, GBA for iOS 2.0 will just be a completely separate application. And to answer the other two questions, how about I just show you? So, when GBA for iOS 2.0 comes out, you can go ahead and download and install it without losing the original GBA for iOS. And you're going to want to have both applications at the same time. From here, go into your GBA for iOS original and save in-game for all of the games that you would like to transfer the save. So that means you have to save inside the actual ROM and not using save states. And now from here, you can connect your iDevice into iTunes. Once you arrive at iTunes, navigate over to your iDevice. This works with PCs and max. Anyway, scroll over to the apps tab and then scroll down and you'll see GBA for iOS with the new 2.0 icon and GBA for iOS with the original icon. So we're going to want to transfer our games from the original to the new 2.0. So to do this, we're going to transfer .gba files and .save files, not save states because as I said, you can only transfer saves within the game. So from there, you're going to highlight both or all of your .gba and .save files. Then you're gonna click on send to, and then you can send them wherever you like. I prefer to create a folder and then put the files in there. Once you put your files in a folder and save, you're gonna go into the new GBA for iOS 2.0 icon. From here, you're gonna click add, and you're going to navigate over to the folder that you just made or where you put the .gba and .save files. And again, highlight them and click Add. On the top, it will show the progress of the adding of the new files. And that's it. That is how you transfer your new, I mean, your old games and your saves over to the new GBA for iOS 2.0 so you can enjoy those games that you worked hard on and love in the new GBA for iOS 2.0, which I might say myself is an excellent application. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm here to bring you some bad news. Unfortunately, GBA for iOS 2.0 will not be released in October. The application is not complete, and it is impossible to release the application if it is not complete. So, we do not know when GBA for iOS 2.0 will be coming out, but it definitely is sooner than later. Anyways, there's a couple of videos on the screen that you might want to check out, so if you do, follow the link in the description. As well as, check out my friend Mythical's blog. He has some awesome blog posts there, as well as a written tutorial on what I just showed you. So, if you would rather read instead of watching a video, then you can go ahead and do that. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I will continue to bring you all the news you need on GBA for iOS 2.0 and how to do everything you need to know in GBA for iOS 2.0 like cheats, how to get it, how to get games, how to get your favorite skins, all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.